all right fellas what is going on and welcome back to another dragon ball spark and zero video today we got all of the v jump scans for this month the month right before dragon ball spark and zero's release so as you could probably expect it's going to be a lot of information coming out in this one but fellas we are going to have to blitz through this once again man i swear all of this stuff is happening at the absolute worst time for me the full roster reveal coming out tomorrow as soon as class the bro they're they are killing me lately but hey man it is what it is we're gonna have to multitask a little bit and then hopefully after after the full roster reveal tomorrow i can kind of you know breeze through these last couple of weeks get class finishing over with and after that it's nothing but dragon ball spark and zero man but fellas like i said if you can see at the top of my screen now we got a lot i might just cut that out actually like i usually do but we have a lot of tabs open today so we're gonna start out with the first v jump scan and shout out to trevor once again for you know more or less translating this for us it is a rough translation as always but i mean we've been doing this for a couple of months now so we're gonna try to breeze through this as easily as possible so this first scan right here and there's probably going to be a scan or two that i won't really go over in depth because uh, there isn't really a ton of new stuff outside of like the character and item shop and uh, they're going to be talking about you know officially confirming that there are 182 characters coming so you know that gives us the reason why tomorrow's reveal trailer is so long the trailer tomorrow is over 10 minutes fellas easily the longest trailer for spark and zero that we've had I, I bro it's gonna be it, it's gonna be massive man i can't wait to see what they finally reveal we've been dipping and dodging all of these leaks so it looks like we're finally getting rewarded man we don't gotta wait until tokyo J game show they're saving us tomorrow fellas so if you lasted as long as i did pause hey kudos to you man bravo fellas we we won the battle just be careful until tomorrow and then we'll officially have won the war but anyways, let's hop into this first V-Jump scam right here. So they're going to be starting off talking about custom battle. It's going to say, create your own battle with custom battle. Edit mode has been finally implemented, allowing you to create battles with characters, story productions, and what's more, with the world library, players from all over the world can enjoy your battles. So this is kind of what we talked about yesterday as well with you know being able to do your custom battles and then upload them to that server and then other people can play them and then maybe we'll have like codes you can send out to your friends or whatever i don't really know how they're gonna do that uh how exactly you're gonna have to title this so it can be found or maybe it is you know a code system or something like that i'm sure it'll be something fairly simple but i can't wait this is gonna be a huge part of the content that we do outside of like online matches and stuff like that so i think the next most important part on this scan over here they're talking about obviously episode battle so we don't really have to go over that too much if you want to see this all this for yourselves i'll be sure to link dbs hype and all the other guys on twitter that are kind of translating this as time goes on down below in the comments but these are just the rough translations that my boy trevor went ahead and threw together for us so down here at the bottom guys they're going to be talking about the character shop and this is going to be our first initial look at honestly they spoiled a couple characters here too so if you don't want to know about any spoilers guys hey just kind of skip ahead in the video a little bit but i mean this is v jump kind of spoiling us themselves so it can't really be helped but i'll go ahead and pull this up uh zoomed in a little bit on the other uh tab right here so in the character shop in dragon ball spark and zero as we can see here guys not only are they going to be leaking uh or actually yeah kid goku right here is going to be getting a little leak and as we can see his power pull i thought this was goten at first but he does have the power pull on his back they're also going to be leaking z gogeta as well so hey man that's a little bit of a dub we did kind of get spoiled before the trailer tomorrow so i'm i'm assuming z gogeta is going to be in the trailer and i can only assume what that means for a couple of other characters so it is a little bit of a spoiler kind of disappointing but again it's v jump it can't really be helped but one of the things that i'm mainly looking at here is how expensive ultra instinct sign is a hundred and twenty thousand zenny my god man yo i might have to use that shinron wish day one for just Hopefully they give us like 2 million zenny or something like that. That might be a little bit much, but I mean, it depends on how, like this slider right here looks like it goes down a fair bit. So there's probably a ton of characters that we're going to have to buy. I don't know how many characters are going to be available um, just like as soon as you start up the game or anything like that. I think that might have been mentioned in one of these other translations over here. I have to flip through these in a second. But yeah, here is our first official look at the character shop in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. And I know a lot of people are probably a little bit upset that Majin Vegeta is right here. The Cell Juniors, what are they doing right here? Even Videl is in the character shop, man. So I don't know what this means for story mode. I don't know if we're going to be unlocking characters, you know, through progressing in the story or if it's just going to be a zenny system for everything. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see as time goes on. I'm sure a lot of our questions will also get answered tomorrow. So going over here now, guys, this is going to be the, I think, the customization scan right here. 
So use the items to become your very own super warrior. In the shop, you can get items to improve the performance of your super warriors and costumes to change their appearance. You can customize your super warrior to be your own. So we pretty much already knew about the capsules and everything like that making a return. But down here below, they're going to be referencing the wishes as well. So down here in this skin, this is going to be the dragon summoning menu right here. As you can see, he already has all of the Earth's Dragon Balls to be able to summon Shenron. And we're missing two Namekian Dragon Balls right here to be able to summon Belonga. I'm going to start calling him that as well. So these are going to be our first two initial looks at Shenron and Poronga in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So I wonder what the differentiation in wishes are going to be between these two. I'm sure it's safe to assume that Super Shenron would have the least amount of limitations on his wishes. So down here below, this is going to say when you clear battles and missions, there's a certain chance that you'll receive a Dragon Ball as a reward. If you collect seven of them, you can summon the long-awaited Shenron. The wishes that come true will change depending on the type of Shenron. Okay, so it is going to be different types of wishes between Shenron, Purunga, and Super Shenron, which we kind of already figured that for Super Shenron. But again, I really wonder what the difference in wishes is between Shenron and Purunga. That's going to be really interesting. So if you pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition, I think it is, we already get the Super Shenron wish, but I'm sure there's going to be people, probably including myself, that day one are going to be trying to collect all of the Dragon Balls. We can really see, you know, what the limitations are with these wishes and what the differences are between Shenron, Purunga, and Super for Shenron. All right, fellas, so now we're going to be moving into some more character and even costume confirmations as well. So shout out to TF Kaiba up here for providing us with these translations. I think we're going to be using another tab of their translations as well up here. So I'll be sure to link them down below in the description box, fellas. Go ahead and give them a follow because this was really helpful. They did this like at the speed of light. So shout out to them. But as you guys can see in the scan right here, they're going to be showing us Future Gohan, Super Saiyan Future Gohan, and Bardock, who has still yet to be officially revealed in a trailer, but I can only hope that he'll finally get his time at some point tomorrow. So in the translations over here from TF Kaiba, they're going to say 182 character data revealed all at once, and this is going to be kind of, I guess, in tandem with the character or full roster revealed tomorrow. Master the information and make a quick start. From the start of the game, you can use a total of 182 characters with their techniques and abilities aimed for victory in battles. How true is that with the character shop? From the start of the game, you can use a total of 182 characters. Or I guess, do they just mean that uh, without DLC or anything like that? I'm going to assume that that's what they mean. Full of knowledge, you can get codes to unlock strengthening items and characters. And as bro pretty much said down here in the replies, Japan only gets those codes, I'm guessing, with Kaiba saying that maybe it comes with that booklet that they're selling. Gather all the special moves and abilities of the characters. Thoroughly conquer all routes of the episode battle, and then down below this, they're just going to be mentioning the three characters that we just saw prior, being Future Gohan, Super Saiyan Future Gohan, and this one's kind of interesting, Bardock Costume 2 also unlocked. So when they say Bardock's Costume 2, and as we can see over here, this is his regular saiyan armor from the uh father of goku special so is bardock's dragon ball super armor also going to be an option is that going to be costume one is kind of what i'm picking up i'm not sure but down here below this they're going to say get special digital codes to unlock characters and items details on the enclosed code can be checked in the separate booklet and i really hope that booklet is accessible all right, fellas, so the last thing that I wanted to go over with you guys were the custom battle translations, and I saved this for last specifically because I wanted to get all of that other important stuff out of the way. But once again, these translations are by way of TF Kaiba, so they will be down below in the description, and I'll be sure to have the scan pulled up here as well so you guys aren't too confused on what I'm reading and what you should be looking at. So it's going to start off by saying enjoyable dream battles. Up to five players, create your own team and have your dream battle. Dream matchups of the strongest warriors from across the universe and the world's greatest martial artists are about to unfold. It's important to maintain balance and strategy with your team composition. The overwhelming power of the warriors will bring your dream matchups to life. The battle cards of your dreams can finally become a reality. Experience those never before seen dream battles in full. The giant warriors clash in these high powered battles. A specific partner can combine with you and this is when they're talking about fusion specifically i think this was a small portion of the scans that we saw if you have a specific partner in your team you can perform a combination attack only with your perfect partner will you be able to unleash incredible power choose between standard or classic controls and we've already gone over a little bit of this as well in prior videos standard is going to be adjusted controls to match modern gameplay styles and classic of course experience the game just like in the old days 
with familiar controls so in this month's v jump scan guys we've seen a lot of stuff not a ton of new things but we did see you know a first look at the character shop we got a little bit of a look at episode battle and how you can go about unlocking characters or getting zenny to unlock those characters we saw a little bit more of custom battle with that first initial look at the character shop in dragon ball spark and zero we did get leaked a couple of characters but throughout the rest of v jump as well we did get leaked like one or two other characters i didn't point them out specifically you guys might have seen them i mean i guess the cat's out of the bag now if you want to put the specific characters that we saw in v jump down below in the comments be my guest but anything outside of those like three or four characters please we have one more day fellas just hold off please we will be here bright and early in the morning that full roster reveal is gonna be sick um but other than that we also gotta look our first look at shinron and purunga in the game and if you pre-ordered the game the ultimate edition i guess that is you will be getting super shinron day one as well and if i missed anything in v jump fellas like i said at the beginning i had to blaze through this because i'm in class right now let me know down below in the comments if i missed any pertinent information but i think that's it with this info dump for v jump the month before dragon ball spark and zero's release but that is gonna do it for this video fellas i really gotta get back to class i made this a lot longer than it probably should have been have a great great day and i'll probably do one more video going over the full roster reveals for tomorrow one more prediction even though we got a little bit spoiled in this video it is what it is though it's v jump have a great great day fellas and i'm gonna see you all tomorrow bye guys